Yes, so. <clears throat> yes, so. This is how we do it. Let's go there. Yes. All right. Blessed good evening to everybody. Once again, this is Diamond Hills. We hit the nail on the head. Irrespective of works, ox is God. Today is a very serious one. Um, there is a saying that says, when you are being deceived, uh, it is better you don't deceive yourself. Whoever is this deceiving this regime in Nassau Rock, this caliber of people thinking they are only a government, doing a show of shame all over the world, whoever is giving them this false hope, false promise, or this fake assurance must desist because this shame is too much. Everybody, anybody that have anything to do with Nigeria or that is affiliated to Nigeria one way or the other, they are covering their faces in shame. But this government is shameless. We all saw what happened to a so-called diplomat in Indonesia, in, in Jakarta. You saw how the Indonesian authority, security operatives humiliated him. They, this could be done. This kind of treatment could only be meted to a Nigerian diplomat because nobody respects Nigeria in the world. Under Buhari, if you place a tissue paper and Nigerian side by side, intelligent people in the world have more respect for this tissue paper than for Nigeria. It has gotten so bad. But these people, they cannot fathom it, they cannot process it, and they cannot accept it. To them, they are only a government. Like I said it last time, what you have in that Asu Rock is just a, a Fulani clan meeting. Nothing more. That is just kindred, Fulani kindred meeting going on in that place. So that is what they think they call a government. But those, to those of us that have traveled far and wide in the world, we know what a legitimate government is, if we see one. But what is going on in Nassau Rock has nothing to do with government or, the, or governance, but just, um, you know, our our keri keri, babasala, just uh, comedy going on in that place, nothing more. Let me put it there and we'll come back later. Okay, Nigerian officials should stop. They should just stop fooling themselves, thinking they are running a government. Nigeria has never operated so low like it is now. This is the lowest Nigeria has ever been. Even in the time of Abasha government, the one that they call a Paria government, it was not as bad as it is now. I think all of us, we saw that video. It went viral. And it's, it's still going viral up to now. I cannot imagine somebody doing that to a Ghana diplomat or a South Africa diplomat or an Egyptian diplomat only to Nigeria. Because if you don't respect yourself, if you don't respect your people, nobody in the world will respect you. Hmm? If you don't respect yourself, if you don't respect your people, nobody will respect you in the world. Okay? So, he that sow the wind will surely reap the whirlwind. Whatever you sow is what will reap. Buhari government has sowed shame, disgrace, and opprobrium to the world. And that is what they are reaping now. Nobody should be surprised. Nobody is surprised. 
Only Buari himself is surprised at what he is getting. It's a law of karma. You will reap what you sow. These jesters, those jesters and sadists at the Federal Executive Council must be courageous enough to tell themselves some home truth. They should do some thinking. There is nothing called Nigeria at the moment. What you have is just some battery of full and fundamentalists and fanatics using carrot and stick approach in holding owners of various sovereignty together. In a senior climb, Buhari should have long been impeached and made to go through criminal trials for destroying and subjecting Nigerian citizens to horrendous experiences for destroying and subjecting Nigerian citizens to horrendous experiences. It's on record how many thousands of Nigerians have died, have been maimed, displaced in peacetime with Buhari, with Buhari looking elsewhere while playing ethnic and religious cards. Please go and listen to Father Kuka presentation to the United States Congress caucus last month. Buhari is the number one disaster ever to before Nigeria after the Nigerian Civil War. Wish another coconut head, another northern coconut head, push the nation too. I'm talking to Guan here. Nigeria is long overdue for scrapping, restructuring, or disintegration. We are waiting how the brainless Buhari and his Fulani cannibals will wriggle through this torrential turbulence, which he has pushed and navigated Nigeria into. Okay? Nigeria is long overdue for scrapping, restructuring, or disintegration. We are waiting how the brainless Buhari will wriggle through this torrential turbulence which he has pushed Nigeria into. He shows this part of stupidity. He shows this part of stupidity and the world is watching how he will end it all. No one consequential in the world take Nigeria serious. Some little school children in Europe or Asia can run Nigeria better than Muhammadu Buhari. Tribalism and ethnic patronage has killed this entity you call Nigeria. If you all stupidly think the world is not washing, <laughs> you must be fooling yourself. The damaged all these clowns like Lai Muhammad, Femi Adeshina, Malami, Garbashu are doing to that ill-fated country is so humongous and unquantifiable. I will tell you some of the reasons nobody will respect Nigeria in the free world. The treatment merited to that so-called diplomat in Indonesia, that kind of treatment awaits all of these silly and lawless Nigeria criminal politicians, even Buhari himself, won't be spared. The world is watching, and not all the functionaries of other reasonable government will tolerate this bullshit that Buhari is promoting in that in that place you call Nigeria. Protesters in the UK are looking for him all over the places. But your dear commander in chief is holed up in an unknown location, which is unbecoming of any reasonable head of government with a valid and popular mandate. But we all know Muhammadu Buhari does not belong in that category. He has no valid, he has no popular mandate. He is just a liar, a fraud, and a scam. So, I will tell you a few reasons why Nigerians will continue to attract negative headlines 
and backlash all over the world. Your DSS can only operate in Nigeria. Your army can only operate in Nigeria. If they try these silly things they are doing in Nigeria elsewhere, they will end up in jail. And they know this very well. So I tell you the reasons why Nigerians will continue to attract negative headlines and backlash all over the world. Number one, this government is like an ostrich. He, he, he has hidden his head in the sand and he thought he, the whole of his body is covered. But alas, Okuta Sin, Eseri Bangbanita, Ili Latin Kue Shorodi. Okay? Bamini Baoju, King Baini Bayon. If you cannot protect your citizens, when the time comes, the citizens will also rise up against you. And that is what is happening now. All right. So, number one, the world knows that the fake regime is lawless and have no iota of respect for our own citizen. If you have no respect for your own citizen, don't expect anybody in the world to respect your citizen. If you are killing and harassing your own citizen, why must the world not follow suit in doing the same to your citizen? If you don't respect your own citizen, you are killing them, you are harassing them, why must the world respect your citizen? I know this thing that happens because this guy is a, is a diplomat. If he were a normal Nigerian somewhere abroad, overseas, who cares? Nobody speaks for them. Many of them have not done anything, they are in jail. Many of them have been hung, have been killed for doing nothing, but nobody to speak up for them. So then they expect the whole world now to be crying. They expect Nigerians to be, run, to, be, to, be pro, to be doing a protest because one diplomat is humiliated somewhere. How many thousands of Nigerians have been humiliated on a daily basis? Who want to speak for this kind of category of people? Nonsense. Number two, if or when Nigerians in the diaspora demonstrate or embark on a peaceful protest in foreign countries or in the in, in Nigeria embassies, those so-called diplomats are quick to invite police or law enforcement agents to brutalize their own citizen so as to suppress their opinion and protest. So when they are now paid back in their own coin, no one should pity them. They've killed many Nigerians in Indonesia. That have, that have done nothing, that nobody there to represent them, to speak up for them, what have those fake diplomats done about it? So, if they, are, if they are facing persecution today, who cares? Are they better than ordinary, everyday Nigerians? Better stop this nonsense and rise up to the, to the duty of, of good governance and forget all this your show of shame. Number three, the Nigerian foolish presidency should not be surprised. Millions all over the world saw our Nigerian state crimi our Nigerian state criminally invaded the home of an innocent law abiding Yoruba right activist, Chief Sunday Adiyemo Igbo. Those security operatives, the DSS to be precise, perpetrated horrendous and horrible crimes in that property in that compound in that vicinity including but not limited to murder the committed murder robbery stealing vandalization and desecration of human integrity and human worth if the nigerian state is insensitive the world is not all those videos are lying on the table of all world leaders as i speak they are watching all those videos they are seeing everything and you think the people, if you are looking elsewhere to those wickedness, the, the responsible world leader are not looking elsewhere. They are very concerned and they will pay you back in your own coin at the right time. This is just a tip of the iceberg. It's just coming. It starts with Indonesia. It will not end there. If you are not re ready for good governance, 21st century governance, pack your bag and baggage, go back to Daura. Nobody is forcing you to do this job, Mr. Buhari. If you are not mentally capable, if you are not physically wired to do this job, nobody is forcing you. 
for crying out loud. You, con you contested four times before a Yoruba man came to your rescue and handed the person to you. And now what are you doing there? Bidding of the Fulani's Fulanization agenda. And now everything is backfiring and you are helpless. Nobody will help you, young man. Pack your things. Leave that place. Number four. Do they think the world is oblivious of how Unamdikanu was criminally abducted in Kenya? What Nigerian Fulani Aso Rock occupant did is termed extraordinary rendition and world leaders are still trying to process that international criminal action and activity. This same Buhari did it before with Umaru Diko in 1984. So, Buhari is a serial criminal. A regular criminal, a regular criminal. It, it, it does it every time. That is in his genotype. To do crime. Is a full animal. Nobody is surprised. Number five. When Nigerian security operative sprayed Nigerian at the Lekito gate with life bullets. They were sprayed with life ammunition. What was the response of their instructor in Asurok? Again, global attention was focused on what Nigeria under Buhari has done to. They killed those innocent Nigerians carrying Nigerian flag. They were sprayed. And now you are saying Nigerians are not patriotic? What patriotism is more than that? Demonstrating for good governance with Nigerian flag in their hands and still they were shot in the night. The way they went to Soka in Ibadan in the dead of the night and destroyed lives and properties. Up to today, no apology, no restitution, no restitution to make matter worse. They declare that innocent young man wanted for doing nothing. Justice will serve its full course. Power does not emanate from the barrel of the gun. Like I said, it starts in Indonesia, it will not end there. That is just the beginning. Watch out. Number six. The whole global attention is focused on how Nigerians are helplessly reeling in untold pain under the merciless killing of Buhari's kinsmen, the Fulani Esmen, the Fulani Assassination Squad, the one you call the Bandit, Boko Haram and Iswat. All of this happening while Buhari feigned ignorance. Number seven. No one in the world is ignorant of all the state sponsor killings going on in the southeast, in the middle bed, and all over Nigeria in general. All the voices of reasons have spoken up, but Buhari and his Fulani gangs are unperturbed, unconcerned. He is busy speaking one language to the southern right activists and speaking another language of approval and pampering to the northern Fulani criminals. When somebody protests or embark on a protest, oh, this is my ancestral land, stop your Fulani kinsmen from killing us, this kind of person will be declared a criminal, will be declared wanted, will be killed, will be harassed. But when a Fulani criminal kidnap or kill somebody, you get paid for doing that. They begin to get paid checks from central bank. They are settled with physical cash. The video is everywhere on YouTube. How they are settling bandits in Katsina, in Kaduna, everywhere. But they bring assault rifle to southwest, southeast, south south to level, to silence the voice of reasons. Okay. <laughs> Guys, let's go there. We all saw 
how those Falcon players were trashed verbally in Austria by a concerned Nigerian. But again, those rascals in power refused to think and do soul searching. More shame, more disgrace, more opprobrium await Nigerian official on the global scene. All of these are natural. What goes around comes around. No asylum center in the world have more applicants or refugees than Nigeria. All of this is saying something. It is, pointing, it is pointing to a failed state and an incompetent failure and failure of governance. Everything is pointing to an incompetent governance and failure of government. Number nine, the Abakiari FBI saga is also there. The whole world is waiting. They are waiting to see how Nigerians will respond to see to this indictment. This has gone beyond the level of allegation. They've conducted investigations, and every finger is point, pointing to Abakiari. With fact and figure, add fact. Evidence, jurisprudence, everything at play here. But again, Nigerians, they've started playing their ethnic card. Yo, it is the Southerner that are sponsoring FBI. It is the Southerner that want Abakiari punished because of the good job he's doing. They want to take our, our intelligence scissor. They want to do this, they want to do that. Listen to voice of reason and act like an intelligent intelligent person once. Even if they are saying Buhari is clueless, he must at least once 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 in a while think like a normal person. The appropriate thing is hand over this guy to America where he's wanted. Let him go and clear himself. Namdi Kano has not done anything wrong. You went with billions of our money to go and kidnap him in Kenya. Chief Adeyemo, Sunday, Igbo has not done anything. You sent DSS to him to go and kill him and his family. Up to now, you've not spoken about it. And now, a confirmed criminal, you are shielding. Do they think the world is not seen? The way they are shielding the terrorist Isa Pantami, the way they are shielding Sheikh Gumi. They said they've killed uh, Shekau. Up to now, no video, no picture to, 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 to back it up. Who knows if they've granted him amnesty somewhere and placed him under one in, in a mansion with fat salary in Nigeria, anything can happen. And the world knows this. So keep on deceiving yourself. The time is coming that this government would have no hidden, hidden place anymore. They won't be able to run anymore. Everywhere they turn, shame, shame. Imagine a whole, a whole president, president of the of the of the biggest black nation on earth, hiding somewhere, hibernating like a like a snake in Amatan, hibernating somewhere in the UK, hiding in a hole. You cannot come out and address Nigeria. There's a saying in the Bible, Toba Shiriri, Arakio, 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 If you do good, you will be anxious to come out and speak. Toba Shiriri, Arakio, Ha Yaobi. Paul Larashefe, Yaonga, the Pomo Punisha Binuo. The wicked people always, always hide in the dark. Demons, principalities, Satan, they hide in the dark. They cannot operate in the light. That is the category Buhari belong. If not, why are you hiding in the dark? Up to now, millions of pounds are being wasted on a daily basis on, 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 on his ailment. Nigerians that are paying the bill 
that, that, that are footing the bill. They have no right to know what sickness this guy is suffering from. But they can fly our, our, our private jet, the engineer's private jet to UK. Every day, parking space, anger alone, costs more than 10,000 pounds. And this guy can pack that plane for three months there. It doesn't matter. Every day, more than 10,000 pounds. Every day. He is the president. A lazy president. A parasitic president that, that doesn't bring anything to the table. And you are shouting. One Nigeria. One Nigeria, my foot. That is just the beginning. I, it's a pity. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the diplomat. I don't know him in person. I have nothing personal against him. But the punishment is getting is not because of him, it's because of the country he comes from. They don't dare do that to a French diplomat or America diplomat, even to Morocco or Algeria diplomat. They don't dare do it. But they know Nigeria have no value for anybody. If you don't respect your own citizen, you went to a to go and kill, you kill everywhere, and you want them to respect you. Respect. They say respect is reciprocal. If you have no respect for yourself, nobody in the world will respect you. Guys, I'm going to draw the cutting now. Uh, I will show you some videos. You will see it. Up to now, this fake government has never realized their mistakes. The Minister of External Affairs is just there talking rubbish as if Nigeria is a country in the true sense of it. That is the fact that they are yet to, 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 to realize. Integrity of governance is like a rock. And this rock belongs to the people, to the populace. It belongs to the ethnic nationality. And this sovereignty, this rock, the ethnic nationality have removed this rock under your feet. You, are, you guys are standing on the bare floor. Sovereignty is removed from you. Yorubas are, are asking for their sovereignty the Igbo, Biafra are asking for their sovereignty. The, the people from Middlebet, they are asking from their, for their sovereignty in Taraba, in Benue, in Plateau, in Nasarawa, in Kogi, in Kwara. All of them are asking for their sovereignty. Biafra has taken their sovereignty away from Nigeria. You can see through the ghost town operations, the governors have no single say in the whole of Southeast. Independent people of Biafra have they've taken their sovereignty. The Yoruba nation have taken their sovereignty. All the governors are just figurehead. As I'm speaking to you now, the sovereignty of Yoruba land belongs to Chief Sunday Adeyemo and Professor Akintoye Lano Modua. Afeni Ferris, the sovereignty does not belong to the governors, to your puppet governor. In Oyo, Makinde, Fayemi, they are not the true representative of the people. If Igbo call now for, for them for, 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 for campaign or for, for a rally, and Makinde call for rally, who know who, who have the most crowd. That is what we are talking about. The higher the better. You call all the ethnic nationality. Discuss with them instead of deceiving yourself by creating more illegal local local government or creating more states. The state that doesn't bring anything, it doesn't amount to anything. They've taken their rug off your feet. That is why you are suffering shame from Austria to Indonesia to Ghana, imagine, to South Africa, everywhere. Xenophobic attack against Nigeria in Ghana also. You, you are suffering defeat everywhere in Benin Republic. Everywhere you go, shame upon shame upon shame. You think people are not seeing all the people that are indicted in 
International Criminal Court of Justice are appointed as ambassador so that they can escape judgment, so that you can give them some immunity. People like Buratai, Buratai Dibusha, people like Oloni Sharkin, people like uh, Said Baba, former chief of air staff, all of them. They are criminals, they are killers. So you want to protect them by giving them immunity. For how long? You think the world is not seen? More shame await this regime. That I can promise you. It's natural. You will be getting disgrace from unlikely quarters, unexpected quarters. That is the law of justice. That is the national law of justice. God is angry with this regime. God is angry with this government. People are dying. Blood are flowing everywhere. The one that the Fulani S men in the bush cannot kill, the Fulani S men in uniform will kill them in the city. Army is killing, Navy is killing, DSS is the, is the chief killer now, everywhere. Injustice everywhere. Ordinary Benin Republic, Togo, they cannot detain people more than two days, three days, and they will release them, or, or they, 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 they arraign them in court. But in Nigeria, you can be in detention for seven years. Go and ask. Go and ask El Saki Saki how long he stay in detention. Go and ask Sambo Dasuki how long he stay in detention. Go and ask Omoyele Shoure how many, how many months, how many years he stayed in EFCC custody. And many more. And you think the world is not seen and you want your people to be respected. You don't respect uh, treaty. You don't respect conventions. You don't respect international law. You can flout international law. I, I, I was so 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 angry when the minister of Com of, of, of foreign affairs is quoting Vienna Convention. This convention. How many treaties does Nigeria respect? There is a treaty that says you cannot do extraordinary rendition, but they did it to Namdekano. This same man cannot say, cannot talk about treaty, cannot talk of, about uh, about any convention or subvention at that time. But they are quick to talk of any convention or Vienna convention. And so what? You cannot be dishing out garbage to the world and be uh, an expert you want to get a rose back. You want to get a flower black. You get what you sow. So guys, I will show you some videos then you can make up your mind so drop your comment subscribe to this channel and press the notification bells so let's enjoy some some music and laugh nigeria to scorn nigeria is nothing but a Theater of the absurd. So embarrassing. This government is a joke. See, see. Diplomat. Diplomat. I'm ashamed for Nigeria. I can only cover my face in shame for this government. Shame on Tinubu. Tinubu has brought this shit to Nigeria. See them. Shameless people all over the places. And these people cannot talk to Buhari because of the peanuts of the crumbs they are dropping at their laps. To speak the truth is a big challenge. I wonder. This is really embarrassing. Really embarrassing. It's a big shame. A big, big, big shame.
Mm. Okay, guys. See you next time. Have a nice evening. God bless you. Don't forget, press the red subscription button and be a member of this great, lovely family. We speak the truth all the time, irrespective of whose ox is God. There is no mixing word with us. We hit the nail on the head. Have a nice day. Bye. Hey. Hey. Ambil handphone langsung.